name is Moses Alobo. I work for Science for Africa Foundation. I lead the Grand Challenges Africa team um, together with a huge group of people uh, who deliver the project within that particular team. We are based in Nairobi, Kenya. Grand Challenges Africa is one of the programs that we are implementing under the science, innovation and entrepreneurship uh, pillar within um, Science for Africa Foundation. Uh, the interesting thing about this uh, piece of work is that we go out to promote scientific innovations in Africa from various different countries to just make sure that uh, we try and focus them so that the continent can actually hit our sustainable development goals. That's our target as uh, Grand Challenges Africa. So the current focus areas or thematic areas for Grand Challenges Africa are actually aligned with what Science for Africa Foundation does. And at the moment, we are focusing on health, climate change, and agriculture. We try and insist that research needs to give us products. Now, what does that mean? Um, it means that even if you're doing basic research, whatever information you're getting out of it, it must be useful. It must be used somewhere. Therefore, uh, we are looking for products. But good products are the ones that can be able to solve problems that are there within the, the those outputs, those products that solve problems are the ones we call innovations. So therefore, as Grand Challenges Africa, we try and uh, push out as many innovations as we can uh, using an interesting model that has been developed within the Grand Challenges family for the last uh, 15 years. For us as Grand Challenges Africa, we have done work in uh, maternal and neonatal child health. We've done work in uh, antimicrobial resistance. Drug discovery, we have two cohorts in drug discovery. We've done work in uh, data sciences and um, we've also done work in uh, water sanitation and hygiene. We believe that uh, uh, with continued investment in priority areas, uh, in just about you know a few years, our science within the continent will be much more developed than uh, where we, we were. We know that we cannot do this alone. We have to form partnerships. We have to form uh, networks. We have to form consortia. We have to draw from people's experiences and ideas from what they've done before. We want to be at a place where we are responding to the needs of African citizens on the, on the, on the continent and are not really focusing on uh, you know, other people's geopolitical agendas. We just need political will, uh, funding investment, and then we can be able to move. I know that uh, in some areas we'll probably do better than others, but for me, the simple thing is to try uh, and move it as quickly as we can.